Well, hello everyone. I'm Mayor Diane Marlin from Urbana, Illinois. It's May 2020. Students and families are in full but virtual COVID commencement mode across our city. And there's another group of people that we need to celebrate. And these are the teachers who've devoted their careers to education, support, and guidance of our children. This month, one very special teacher here in Urbana is retiring after 32 years in music education. This is Urbana Middle School Band Director Karen DeBush. Her legacy is the thousands of children who acquired a lifelong appreciation for music and the arts. Under her direction, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders learned to play an instrument as individuals, and they learned to excel collectively as part of the middle school band. Ms. Bush taught my kids, who are now 34 and 36 years old. She had a profound impact on their lives and careers. Our daughter played saxophone and clarinet throughout middle school and high school. She majored in music and music business in college, took a job as a sound designer for a video game company, and today is a producer in that company. And she's still one of the relatively few women in that level in the gaming industry. Our son channeled his energy into percussion, and he later taught himself to play the guitar. Wherever he goes to this day, he joins a band. He's been in an Irish band, an Indian folk band, rock cover bands, and after college, he spent a year teaching English in China. And when he was there, he joined a band. He didn't speak much Mandarin at the time. The other band members didn't speak much English, but they all spoke the universal language of music in the Hunan province, and they are friends to this day. The other thing about great teachers like Karen DeBush is that they take you to levels you don't think you could reach. The year my kids were in seventh and eighth grade, Ms. DeBush decided that the band would learn a piece called The Light Eternal by James Swearingen. She handed the concert band the original score in January, and it was a real stretch for kids this age to play the music, but she knew they could do it, even if they didn't know that at the time, because they were using the original score. So a few months later, we parents filled the bleachers in the middle school gym. The band was on the floor in their white shirts and black pants. Miss DeBush raised her baton and the magic started. We couldn't believe the performance of these 12 and 13 year old kids. And at some point during that semester, they became musicians. The band later recorded their performance, submitted it to a statewide music competition. In May of that year, the Urbana Middle School Concert Band won the Super State Band Competition at Cranert Center for the Performing Arts in Urbana. This is the equivalent of winning a state basketball tournament, and I'll never forget the pure joy and pride that I saw in those kids' faces and in Ms. DeBush's. Karen DeBush's final concert as the Urbana Middle School Band Director was supposed to be this week on May 19th. We would have all gathered to celebrate her dedication to the children of our community and the importance of arts in our lives. But of course, schools are closed, the concert was canceled, like every other gathering around the state. So instead, the community celebrated COVID style with social media tributes, cards, letters, and a car parade of over 200 vehicles. As you can probably tell by now, this music educator had a profound influence on more than just the kids she taught. She loved music, she loved our kids, and we loved her for that. So this is just a note of thanks to you, Karen DeBush, and all the teachers who are retiring this year. We can't hug you right now, but to use your own words, thank you for being awesome. <laughs>